Today we're going to talk about the most commonly used items in your first aid kit. You'll want to stick around. Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about the most commonly used things in your first aid kit, primarily moleskin, and secondly, uh, band-aids for minor cuts. Let me show you how that's done. Let's say that you're hiking and someone in your party has started to rub a hot spot on their heel, and we're thinking we better put some moleskin on it before it turns into a blister. Let's just go to our first aid kit. We showed how to build this simple kit in a separate video, and it's got a lot of just the very basic things that you'll need. In another video, we encouraged each of you to build your own first aid kit, so you know where everything is when you're going to find it. There's my moleskin, small pair of scissors, I've got a band-aid, a little plastic bag that's got a bunch of different sizes of band-aids. So we'll lay those out, we're ready to go. Moleskin comes in different sizes. We've just found a sheet of it that we've cut that fits conveniently into the baggie that we're using to keep it clean while it's in our first aid kit. When you've got a hot spot, you want to just measure the amount that you need. You can cut it with your scissors and apply it to that hot spot. Cut a hole in it, put it over that place so that you can avoid developing into a blister later as you're hiking. So let's open this up. I'll show you, I've got some pre-cut pieces in here. So there's my sheet, and here's just another spare piece. In anticipation that someday somebody might have a hot spot, I've cut a little donut hole, a little piece to go over the top of that, and it's rounded edges because if you've got that on your foot and your socks over the top of that, you know, a square edge might catch the edge of your socks and peel up. So round the edges a little bit. A typical hot spot might occur maybe on your heel or on an ankle where your shoe is rubbing on that bone that's protruding. And so I'm going to use my knuckle here just as an example. You want to take your mole skin, put it on there. You want to measure around and cut a hole in the middle of the mole skin so that you're not touching that hot spot. So I've pre-cut one. We just lay that over there. And then when it's on your, your foot, then you want to put something also over the top that will protect that whole thing. So let me show you how to measure and cut this. So I've got a little piece here. I'm gonna create a donut. Just take my scissors, cut that into a little circle. Make sure we don't have any of the square edges. There we go. And now we're gonna cut the middle out where the hot spot will be. Almost just cut a triangle in here, which would work just fine. Let me show you how to position that on the hot spot, which might be on your ankle. I've hiked a lot of miles in these shoes, so they're well broken in. But let's pretend just on this little bone here, I've got a hot spot. We've cut our mole skin. We're just going to place it right on that hot spot there. So you can see that the spot that is warm is in the circle. And now we're going to bandage the whole part. So here's the other one that I've cut. We're just going to cover that whole area there. And that will give me some nice protection. And now we can continue our hike. If you'll remember when we were talking about building the first aid kit, we reminded you to put an extra baggie in there for garbage. Pieces of the backing for the band-aids so we don't leave a trace of where we've been. One of the most common reasons that you'll have to dip into your first aid kit would be for a simple cut. Maybe one of the people in your party has cut themselves with their knife 
and they need some help. So what we'll do is we'll get our items out from our first aid kit, nitro gloves, you know you'll want some antiseptic wipes, bring out your band-aids, and I like to have some triple antibiotic ointment available too. You know, I've taught first aid courses for many years for the Red Cross, and this certainly is not intended to be a class on first aid, but just some very basics about bleeding. So as you open your kit, let's start with a pair of gloves because we want to protect ourselves. So if it's on someone else, have them have direct pressure and raise the cut above the level of their heart. You wanna encourage the person that has the cut to go ahead and cover it on his own and, but this is gonna protect you as you go to render some first aid. Open one of your antiseptic wipes, clean the cut off and apply a Band-Aid. Now, if it's a deep cut that's going to open up, you can't keep it closed, then you can go to your steri strips that you would have in your first aid kit. And if the cut continues to bleed after you put the Band-Aid on, let's not take that Band-Aid off. Let's just add another pad. And so you've got some additional pads that you've put on your that you've put into your kit so just add those pads on top and keep adding pads and don't take things off just add it keep wrapping it until the bleeding stops or till you can get some advanced medical treatment the things that we talked about today are things that you might encounter on a day hike for maybe a longer extended backpacking trip you'd want a bigger first aid kit with some more advanced tools in it such as this we hope that this has been informative and important for you. We hope you're safe, and we hope that you'll join us again at OSME TV.